2022, the latest Korean action thriller Wolf Hunting, today he finally arrived. This film is inspired by Japanese human experiments during World War II, triggering a series of thrilling and thrilling stories, not much to say. Story begins. A group of heinous criminals are to be sent back to South Korea from the Philippines. These people do all kinds of evil. Everyone is a fugitive, escorted by senior South Korean police officers along the way. Depart by cruise ship, can travel as a ship to the high seas of the Pacific Ocean. A man in a suit stealthily stole the doctor's syringe and sedative. Next we came to the basement, here lies a strange person frozen in ice. Men dare not look too much, inject tranquilizers into the monster's body. He hurriedly left the tattooed brother, who was handcuffed on the other side, while the police were not paying attention, spit out a slender steel wire, I opened my own handcuffs. Meanwhile, an accomplice disguised as a crew member also launched an attack on the police on the ship. Tata brother and his little brothers are just trying to escape from prison. Little did they know that the true purpose of this ship was to transport the biochemical monsters in the basement. The fuel dripping from the oil pipe on his face. This kind of stimulation actually awakened him. Unknown to two brother took hostages, prepare to fight against the remaining police. Just then, strange people descending from the sky, strange manpower is boundless, the speed is also amazing, not even machine gun fire can hurt him at all, everyone looked dumbfounded, some people even got scared and wet their pants, at this moment, where can we still care about the police and criminals, everyone just wants to live, I thought it was the tattooed brother of the protagonist, only half alive, was exterminated by a strange person, only Ziosuai and police officer Ziyuei escaped to the second floor, but the real slaughter has just begun, how crazy can Japan be during World War II? They not only use live humans for experiments, and also fuse it with animal genes, made into a powerful biochemical human, just as they celebrated the success of the experiment. The resident evil suddenly erupted, killed all the perverted researchers around him, not even a bullet can move him. All the Japanese present were massacred. Decades later today, a South Korean organization has started researching biochemical humans, and then conduct experiments with a large number of live people. After dying one group after another, they finally mastered this powerful power. At this point, the ship has become a human purgatory. The survivors are in the basement, found research data on biochemical humans, they learned about the origin of biochemical humans, and what this ship really needs to transport, it's not even them, is to bring this initial sample back to Korea, who knew there was a mistake on the way, let them bear this unwarranted disaster along with them, the police captain learned about the situation on the ship, I fell off the phone in anger, turns out he's also a modified biochemist captain, take a special unit to chase the ship, look carefully, these people all have the same sign at the corner of their eyes, they inject a medication into their bodies, clear, this is also some kind of chemical weapon. Biochemical humans approach step by step. Just when a few people don't know where to escape, the captain finally brought someone to arrive. And the first thing he did, unexpectedly, they want to eliminate all the witnesses. Ziosai sees the situation, jump up and pinch the captain's neck. The captain didn't panic at all, pull off the clothes on his chest. Ziosai is also a biochemical person. Ziosai knows the captain in front of him. Not only do I know two people, and deep blood feuds. In a hidden underground laboratory, we are conducting inhumane human experiments. Countless people died in the experiment. Xiaoshui also couldn't bear the side effects of the renovation, entered a state of suspended animation, so he was dumped into the pigsty as a failed product. But before being stirred into pig feed, he woke up. From then on, he remained anonymous. Marry and have children like ordinary people. I thought I could live a normal life. But the captain didn't know from where he was still alive, bringing someone to kill his wife and children. Enemies are particularly jealous when they meet. The two of them fought fiercely in an instant. This is a biochemical person coming to join the fun. But the captain didn't panic and flew him out with just a few strokes. Then he calmly carried the dagger. He easily killed the biobots. Now there's only the young captain and the captain left. But Xiao Shui is not his opponent either. After a series of battles, constrained everywhere, the captain maliciously insulted his deceased wife and children, attempting to disturb his mind. This completely angered Xiao Shui. A few days later, a man in a suit came to a secluded island. He walked into a cell, looking at a little boy with a strange expression. So the captain at the time was just about to take action, but the child's eyes have changed color. This is a biochemical person born in life. Rather than being such a precious product of experimental manufacturing, the captain certainly wouldn't be willing to kill him. It seems that this is the foreshadowing for the second installment, and near a small island on the other side, a man emerged from the sea. This concludes the film.